Does it say rec on it? Yep. Okay, that means we're recording. So you ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. What is that? We have a problem, and I think 3D printing can fix it. We have these really cool little pumpkin salt and pepper shakers, and they use a little stopper. A little stopper that looks like, like this. But we only have one of them, and we can't seem to find the other one. And we have two shakers. So, in order to solve that problem, we're gonna have to turn to 3D printing. I'll show you, right, just like that. See, because you can see my face, right? And you can see that, right? Yep. That's gonna be awesome. Okay, are you ready to hold still for a little bit? Yep. Okay. To start with our fix and 3D print the, the needed little stopper, we're gonna turn to Autodesk's Fusion 360. And what I did is I measured the clear one and I put that into Fusion. I created what looks like, well, here, you can kind of see it. So it ended up being some circles that were extruded up. I then did an offset plane up here and I extruded a little bit for the lip and then I put uh, a chamfer here and a fillet here and that's good to go. So now we just need to go save this off as an STL and go take it to our slicer and then we can take it to our 3D printer. We used flexible filament and we printed it out on the Zix 3D printer. So let's get it off the build plate. And it looks like that. There it is. Can you see it, Riley? Mm-hmm. Good. So here it is. Let's go give it a try. Now that we have our piece, let's try it in one of these. And, oh no! It's a little too big. And this is, well, this is, this is okay because this is 3D printing. So all we need to do is make some adjustments in the 3D model. We need to print it again and we need to try it again. I ended up printing quite a few of these through trial and error. Some were too small, some were too big. And what I realized is that the flexible material is different than the flexible material originally used, and so I had to adjust the size just a little bit to compensate. Can you see me okay? Yep, perfectly. Okay. So on our sixth try, we got this one, and this actually was the one we were gonna shoot for because the hole is round. And after some trial and error, it fits. It's not too tight, it's not too loose, and it's easily removed. So here's the original one that fits in just like that. So now, if we put the 3D printed piece in, and we put the original one in, we now happen to have two Halloween, festive, autumn, Thanksgiving themed salt and pepper shakers that both have bottoms and they can both hold salt and pepper. And that's how you fix things with 3D printing. Okay, we're recording. Okay. I wanna give a special shout out to Riley here and to David for helping me record this little episode of how you can fix things with 3D printing. Give them all a high five, kids. High, high five. five. High five.